Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God and the Almighty one who reigns. Amen. Good morning. We offer this morning's Mass of Tuesday, the fourth week of Easter for the people, our people of St. Martin de Porres. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. Lord our God, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Syrians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to be remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. A large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations praise the Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord holds. The gates of Zion more than the dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All the nations praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord, of Philistia and Tyre and Ethiopia. This man was born there, and of Zion they still say, One and all, sir, who were born here, and he is, and he who has established her is the Most High. All the nations praise the Lord. They shall know when the apostles are enrolled. This man was born there, and they shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. All the nations praise the Lord.
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. continue to meditate on this beautiful image of Jesus as the Good Shepherd, which is an, an image that is meant to give us great encouragement in our faith, as we hear from the Acts of the Apostles, as the Christians were being persecuted and driven out and dispersed outside of Jerusalem. It didn't snuff them out, but it increased the faith and in Antioch, the apostles sent Barnabas to encourage them. That's what the name Barnabas means, son of encouragement. He encouraged them to, to remain faithful with a firm heart. Because Jesus is the good shepherd who has their lives in his hands. And who leads them to eternal life. And nothing in this world can ever change that. Nothing in this world can ever take us out of God's hands. Beautiful how Jesus speaks of this relationship that he wants us to have with him. You know, that's where our faith has its foundation. Everything that we do, all the practice of our faith, all the good works, all of it flows from that fundamental relationship with Jesus, who is our good shepherd. What does Jesus say about his sheep? That they hear my voice. Right? There's so many voices out there in the world to lead people astray. But a sheep that belongs to Jesus listens and detects his voice amidst all the others. And that means we have to be people of, it, of real prayer, right? who spend time with the Lord, who listen to his voice, who knows the scriptures, who knows the gospels, who feed their souls with the word of God and most especially with the Eucharist, the body and blood of our risen Lord. And I know my sheep, Jesus says. He knows us on a personal, intimate level. Right? Remember that parable that Jesus told of, of the door being shut to the banquet and, and the people knocking at the door, asking the master to let them in. And what did the master say? I never knew you. Jesus wants to know us. He wants us to be in a relationship with him. And that's where our faith begins and ends in that oneness with Jesus. And my sheep follow me, Jesus says. There's so many other ways to go in this world, but those who belong to the Good Shepherd hear his voice and follow him. They think with the mind of Jesus, they see others through the eyes of Jesus, they will what Jesus wills and they love the way Jesus loves. That's a lifetime of, of, of formation, really. But we need to be developing that faith and that relationship with Jesus every day of our lives. And the sheep are in my hands, Jesus says. There's no taking my sheep out of my hands. There's no taking my sheep out of my Father's hands. We are all in God's hands. One time visiting a, a, a nun out in Staten Island, I only been a priest a short while, but she had a horrible diagnosis with cancer. She was so sick and didn't have much time left to live, a little nervous about what to say to her. 
And the first thing she said to me was, Father, we are all in God's hands. What a beautiful summary of faith. She wasn't afraid of anything, because she knew she was in the hands of her good shepherd, who promises her eternal life. Jesus gives us eternal life because he gives us himself, because he is life itself. And he gives us his life himself entirely right here in the Eucharist as he comes into our bodies and souls to hold us tight, to assure us that we are, that he is with us and that we are in his hands and he will never let us go. In faith and hope, let us bring our needs to our loving Father. For all the newly initiated of the church, may God bless them abundantly in their faith's journey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in working to protect life, especially the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For refugees, may God hold them in the palm of his hand and protect them as they seek freedom and safety. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our community here, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit during this blessed Easter season increase our hope and joy in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially those known only to God, may they enjoy the eternal peace of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of St. Martin de Porres, the intention of this Mass, and for our own personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, we believe that you are greater than all, inspired by this confidence. We humbly ask you to hear these our petitions, which we offer you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, in my iniquity. Cleanse me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. May the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your soul. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and, never, and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the 
the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us grace. Pray to the Lord of us for sin. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word that my soul.
the community men to come, that Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah. An act of spiritual communion for those at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Hear, O oh Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares 